morning, this is Madeline. Welcome to Spiritual River Tarot. And I'm here at my parents' house, so I'm kind of like up in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, spending a little time talking to you guys. And I would like to do a, a reading for the collective uh, for today. This is Sunday, the 22nd. So 11, 22, 2020. So that's a pretty cool number. So let's uh, see what the uh, collective message is for us today. So the card in the situation, the, the primary situation is the uh, Four of Pentacles. <clears throat> and in this card, um, this card deck has to do with uh, the different angels and archangels. And the Pentacles have uh, Ariel and she really comes to us and offers a lot of uh, wealth and opportunity and I was thinking you know um, she's pink and so part of helping us to you know bring uh, wealth and prosperity to us is like meditating on the color pink and bringing her to come help us so she's watching over this uh, gentleman and this card talks about you know giving and receiving and the flow of money and that if we hold on too tightly it it will stop the flow but if we don't hold on tightly enough it'll just all go away and so there's this balance of uh, holding things and the four it really is about uh, structure and building and I noticed that here in the background there's this wooden structure and this wooden building and I was reading this book um, called Ikigai, which uh, talks about the Japanese concept of Ikigai, or the purpose of flow of life. And they talk a lot about uh, flow and how things are impermanent and they, they change over time. And so they build their buildings out of wood instead of out of stone. And every some of the buildings, they actually rebuild every 20 years. I didn't realize that, but you know, many of their buildings don't last forever. And there's a purpose and a reason for that. And that has to do with this um, ebb and flow of life, you know, and not to be that, you know, stark, um, stationary structure, but to have this uh, gentle flow of life and the need for rebuilding and making something your own for each generation. So I think part of the message for today, for the collective, is, you know, allow things to flow. You know, you may, you might be looking at your uh, budget and saying, well, I don't really have anything to give anyone. Um, but, you know, you may, you may have a dollar, you may have five dollars uh, to help somebody out, to give a little bit. And it'll make a lot, it'll mean a lot to them. But it will also mean a lot to you because it'll keep things flowing. Because so many times when we are in a state of lack, you know, we tend to want to stop everything up. And then it's hard for things to flow into our life. So this card is all about having this uh, flow of life, you know, allowing things to move uh, through us and through our lives in a uh, ebb and flow so the situation that will help us you know the the basis that will help us with this situation is the knight of wands and it has to do with confidence enthusiastic courageous and charismatic so the thing that kind of um stuck out to me instinctively knowing what to do and I kind of look at my life and I'm like really I don't know what to do and I'll try to do something and then I'm like maybe it's not that and I'll try to do something else and I'm like well maybe it's not that but I think a part of it is following our instinct just whatever instinct is there and following it and going forward with it will um, help us to follow the next instinct and follow the next one. And as we do that, it'll start to uh, create a pattern and 
something that will flow in our lives. So the way that this card will help the flow of our lives is that we flow from one instinct to the next, uh, from one, you know, kind of like a charismatic, courageous, uh, confident move to the next. And as we do that, remember that things aren't set in stone, that they're moving. And as they're moving and growing, and as we're moving and growing, we'll be able to follow our intuition. So, um, the collective for the past, you know, we, we've, a lot of us have had opportunities to connect in different ways. I think it's something that we're continuing to doing, um, connecting, uh, whether it's the, in the collective, whether it's in our own personal lives, um, really coming together with friends in a community. And the cool thing is, is that we can do that in responsible ways. You know, for, um, obviously there are some concerns when it comes to the coronavirus. And the biggest concern is, you know, what if you are the one person that is, uh, you know, has it, but has no symptoms. And so you don't know that you're providing it to your whole family. And then, you know, some people will die as a result of getting the disease. You know, not everyone, but a few. And so unfortunately, you know, you can kind of feel that sense of guilt. And so things are kind of hampered right now with our relationships. This, you know, Three of Cups is coming together in celebration. is kind of hampered a little bit because of the fear of, you know, the virus. And so like yesterday, I was able to hang out with a friend. We were outside with our masks on by the, by a fire and just really enjoyed our time outside talking, uh, far enough away from each other that we weren't concerned about, um, gaining these types of things. So anyway, that is, uh, you know, find uh, creative ways to feel like you won't be potentially harming one of your friends but still get that really connection and camaraderie of being together. And so the uh, card here, the kind of the current situation right now for some people, you know, the King of Wands. And the King of Wands, um, you know, is really asking us to look at the big picture and, um, you know, try to find those things that will um, help other people, will be a blessing to other people. And uh, look at the, the big picture here in our world. Maybe with this being the, the week of uh, Thanksgiving, it's again this idea of, you know, where are we going to be? The big, what is the big picture? So... The small picture is, you know, if we don't get together for Thanksgiving, you know, it's just a terrible thing. The big picture is one of many holidays. It's a holiday that isn't even part of most other countries. So there's two aspects, so there's two ways of looking at things. Um, leave the details to others. So this card is also about... Um, uh, what is it called? Um, I forget now the word, but you know, passing on the the uh, responsibility to someone else and not taking it all on yourself. So there are times when, you know, they, you know, like for instance, Thanksgiving dinner would be a good example of doing the whole thing yourself or having it more of a public style. You know, so delegate. It's a word, delegate. Delegate out to other people parts of the jobs so that nothing is too much of a job for you. And then um, in the near future, looks like we'll be spending some time in meditation, in prayer, relaxation, contemplation, a little hermit phase of healing, finding moments to get away from uh, stress and uh, getting more uh, sleep. So sometimes uh, sleep can be one of the most beneficial things because dreams will come to us. Um, 
It's interesting that Michael is on here, uh, The Four of Swords, because um, I've been reading this book, Angels of the, Abund the Angels of Abundance, and it talks about every night asking Michael to come into your dreams and guide and protect protect your dreams. So that's kind of a, a cool uh, connection there. So the underneath of the deck, the things to kind of think about are the, uh, the five of wands, which is kind of like that conflict card and, you know, our, you know, discussions or different levels of conflict. And then this, uh, justice card with, um, Archangel Ruggiel, Ruggiel, um, you know, fight for equality rulings that are fair, don't give up. And I know for me on a personal level, I have some things related to, um, you know, like uh, in the courts, that would be nice for them to have a good resolution. And that's what this card comes to say to you. But I thought it was also interesting here. Um, Archangel Raquel is the angel to call upon whenever you feel yourself in a challenging situation with someone else. And I was like, wow, this is the perfect card to go with this card. It's all about like kind of like conflict. It could be, you know, a challenge you can resolve. Um, withdraw from the drama of others. And have patience with yourself and those around you. So, um, anyway, this talks about, um, he can soften the energy between two people or even groups, uh, so that a peaceful and harmonious resolution can be found. So we can call to, uh, Ragel, um, I need to look up the, uh, pronunciation, we can call to the Archangel Ragel and we can say to him, come and help us to balance this out. You see how one basket is more heavier than the other and he's having a hard time holding them up. So maybe he can help us to balance out uh, this situation. The other thing that I noticed and you know may have you might be getting a lot of conflict from family on different levels of understanding of this time and what, what they do or don't want to do. And so he's a good one to call to and help with that. Then the, uh, the one thing I noticed about this is the lady in this picture is in a very opulent place. She's in a situation in life where a lot of people are taking care of her. Um, she's, she's probably not the one, the way she looks, she's probably not the one that's actually cleaning this place. She's the one that's uh, sitting here in the opulence. And I noticed that she has a table, which makes me think of like a, a futuristic game that's maybe on a, a table and she's sitting in the past. So the thing I really felt was that conflict is timeless. And it's something that we always come here to learn more about on the earth. You know, as we're here, spending our time understanding ourselves better and understanding other people better. You know, part of the reason that we're here, you know, is to gain a better understanding of these uh, conflicts that arise in conflict resolution. And that's something that has been in the past and will be in the future. And that we can always uh, work toward uh, having a better understanding and having the Archangel come and help to alleviate uh, some of our concerns. So here is the... Um, so that is the uh, message for the collective. So thank you for... Um, <laughs> working with me on the uh, location and all that stuff. And um, I look forward to uh, continuing our conversations. Blessings to you.